This is a video tour of the Wave 5 Trade Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the Ninja Trader NT8 platform. All the other platforms, ThinkOrSwim, TradeStation, and Multicharts, behave pretty much the same. So let's go through. This is a um, stock. I'm going to go through a Forex pair. I'm going to go through a futures pair on different time frames just to show you how. Uh, valuable this indicator suite is so first of all this is SRPT on the daily time frame it's a stock I've isolated uh, the Elliott wave count down at the low down here and the indicator suite has automatically assigned the Elliott wave count one here two three the wave four has pulled back into our automated probability zones so green is 85% amber is 80% and the red zone is 75% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave 5 high into our automated target zone up here as you can see currently in this trade and this is where we are right now below the chart we have a 535 oscillator this helps build the picture of this wave 4 pullback in the probability we look for a pullback between 19 140 percent of the highest point on wave 3 which happened in this case below that we've got a special false breakout stochastic so the yellow dots on the overbought zone at the top here denote a very strong bullish trend so the stochastic has uh, had false breakouts now it's pulled back against that strong bullish trend and into the oversold zone on the wave four and then the probability is it wants to return it's like an elastic band it wants to return back to that overall strong bullish trend so you see we've got the picture we've got the wave four pull back into the probability zone we've got uh, confirmation that that behaved well with the 535 oscillator and the false bar stochastic we get a green arrow indication here plus also we've got our 64 moving average high this the green moving average here for our conservative entry strategy and the 64 moving average low for entry strategies for the short so that's an example of a stock on a daily time frame so let's go to GBP US dollar on a 60 minute time frame behaves exactly the same way we have the Elliott wave count over here on the left we have the wave one then we have a wave two the wave three and then a sharp wave four pullback into the amber zone so that's an 80 percent probability that's going to go on and make a new wave five high into our automated target zones which it did to back that up at the point of the wave four we see the 535 oscillators pulled back between 90 and 140 percent and to back that up even further the stochastic has pulled back against the false breakout dots here into the oversold zone and it will want to return to the overall bullish trend so again we've built this picture of this high probability bullish move this fifth wave move which is the highest probability move in a trend so that's GBP US dollar and exactly the same sort of thing on futures this is ES this is a short so we're going the other way this time so we can see the, from the highs here on the five minute chart this is we've had a wave one a wave two a wave three we've got a very complex wave four but it's found resistance in the red zone so the 75 percent probability is going to go on and make a new wave low at the same time we have the 535 oscillator pulling back between 90 and 140 percent and we have the stochastic crossing over in the oversold zone against these false uh, breakout dots here and as you can see there was an entry below the 64 moving average low here we see the red arrow entry here and the short went on and hit the wave 5 target spot on so that's a quick tour of the Elliott wave indicator suite for the wave 5 trade um, and ninja trader version also don't forget we have the think or swim trade station and multi charts versions thank you